Welcome to another episode of the year. Today, we're going to get some hands-on with Python string management. My name is Kareem Iskander. I'm a lead technical advocate with Cisco Learning and Certifications. Strings are the primary way that we interact with non-numerical data in Python. And string type, or STR, in Python provides us with a lot of powerful methods to make working with string data easier. In this hands-on lab, we'll be creating a script that can take a user provided message and perform various actions on it before printing out these new results. To feel more comfortable doing these labs, you'll need to be able to create a string.py file using your favorite ID, uh, whether it's PyCharm or VS Code or whatever you prefer to use. We're gonna make that file executable uh, what, using Python 3.7 or above. And then we're gonna go from there to utilize the string methods um, as part of the, the, the class, the Python class, to print variations of that message variable. And then finally, we're going to separate the message strings into words, print these words, and then leverage the str class methods to manipulate the message variables. All right, so let's do it together and let's get started. First of all, let's go ahead and create a new Python file. I'm going to use my ID here to create uh, fun with strings.py. All right, so we have our first Python file. At this point, let's, to make it isolated from uh, our Python path, let's create a, a shebang at the top of our file here. So um, I'm gonna do it as user bin env, and I'm gonna use Python 3.7. Now that we have this set up, we want to go ahead and ask the user to input a message so we can start manipulating. So let's create a variable. We're going to call that variable message. And um, this would be an input from the user. And we're going to prompt enter a message. At this point, the user is going to type a message in our terminal. And all we're going to do is just prompt them to print that message and echo it to them. Let's try it. This is a test message. And as expected, it ran. All right. So now let's leverage the Python string class to do some type of manipulation on the message that we receive from the input. In this case, uh, we're going to leverage the dot lower method as well, upper, capitalize, and title. So let's go ahead and do that. Now that we have a variable, we're going to go from message. Actually, we'll print it out as well while we're at it. So print lowercase, and this would be my message dot lower and you notice how with any modern ide you have an autocomplete of that method for the class so in this case we're going to use uh dot lower and it auto completes for me next let's go ahead and do uppercase oops and again this is the message that we're receiving from the user dot upper print, let's go ahead and do um, capitalized, where we're going to capitalize the entire message. And finally, let's print title case. Message.title is another method that we can all right, great, let's run it. Hello from the U. Let's see what happens when you do this. So I got my echo, my print statement, my lowercase, notice how it's all lowercase now, an uppercase, as well as capitalized, and finally, title case. Pretty straightforward, right? All right. Now, let's do something with 
outside of changing the, the the capitalization and the cases of the our our string itself. Let's sort them and let's split them. So what happens when you split a message in in Python using the dot split notation? Uh, it creates a list of the string, so you can have access of it as an array. So let's do that. Let's create a word list. And we're going to do take that same message and split it. And what we're going to do is we're going to print the actual words separated from the string. And to show you that you have access to the list, let's do just print the first element of this message. Let's run it. Hello from Cisco. As you can see here, we printed out the word. It's a list of four elements. And our first element that we access via the array um, starting from index zero is hello. Now, we can build further on this, and we can sort it and sort these words. So let's do sorted words. And we're going to sort them uh, alphabetical here. So um, we're going to create a new variable called sorted. And again, we're going we're gonna to take the words that we've created and sort them. So we're going to take that list that were created and sort them, assign those to a variable called sorted words. And if we do a print statement here of alphabetic first word, and this is, since it's also a list, this is my first word. And if I want to get the alphabetic last word, there's two ways to do this. Here, we could do sorted and we could find out the length of our um, array or of our list and then get the last element by doing ln minus 1 since the index from 0. Or we can simply say, go to the end of that list by going to index negative 1 and give me the last one. As you can see here, if we run this successfully, now we are asking for a message. So this is a test message and if we run that if you can see that this is our first word and in in alphabetical notation right and last is test so you can see how easy it is to manipulate strings in python um, this is a great way for you to to learn and get hands-on um, with this lab so Thank you for joining us today and um, see you next time on an, another episode of The Year.